Hey, what's going on guys, it's Kyle, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Keystone Hardware Wallet. I've got it showcased right over here. Got some questions to answer. Are the features any good? How does it stay secure? What wallets and what assets are compatible with this wallet? There are two different models we're going to compare throughout the video, and we're also going to talk about the Keystone Tablet, which is how you secure your seed phrase. Full disclosure, Keystone did hook this up. I'm not getting paid to make the video, although they did send this over for free. They said there's no obligations doing an honest review. So for that, guys over at Keystone give you a handshake. This is for educational purposes only. Do your own research and uh, obviously not financial advice. Like I mentioned, there are two versions. You've got the Essential and the Pro. Obviously the Pro just has a few more features which we're gonna talk about. The first feature I wanna talk about is this four inch touchscreen. A lot of us, you know, we've got the smartphones. So this makes it a lot more easy to use. You're not just looking at a little bitty screen and then flipping through, kind of looking at it individually. You can see everything all at once with this kind of screen. It helps with eliminating blind signing. Here's an example that they have from a post on their blog. What they do is they actually go and label known smart contracts. So in this case, you've got Uniswap V2. And on the left-hand side, you can see that they've labeled it. So it's like, okay. And on the other side, you've got two unknown address. So it will flag if there's anything kind of fishy. It's not a silver bullet. It can't catch 100% of the stuff, but it does allow you to see a bit more on that touchscreen that you can't necessarily see from the smaller devices. This wallet never needs to be plugged into a computer at all for anything. I mean, yeah, it needs to charge, but you can do that from a wall outlet. You don't have to plug that into a computer. It uses QR codes and it is 100% air gapped. So air gapped, the definition, a technology to enable crypto transaction signing without using any radio frequencies or physical connection. So this thing does stay completely cold. On the pro version, they do have fingerprint signing. So on the, on the back of it, you can see that's that additional black circle aside from the lens to scan the QR codes. And you can scan your fingerprint. That's uh, it. I haven't used it yet, it's in the box but I imagine it's really easy to use. So unlock your device or approve transactions without having to worry about onlookers or surveillance cameras. So you don't have to worry about punching in your password, worrying if anyone's looking over your shoulder or if there's any cameras nearby. Both of them come with a detachable battery pack that comes with AAA batteries. So you can just, if, the, if it runs out, you know, keep some spare batteries, throw them in there and you should be good to go. The pro version does come with an additional battery pack. It slims it down as you can tell from the photo there. It's a little less bulky on the back. And it's also detachable and you can charge it separately and it's just rechargeable like other stuff you might be familiar with. Another feature of the Pro only is this self-destruct mechanism, which I thought was pretty cool. It's an inbuilt system so that if anyone essentially tries to take apart the physical device, it will know that and it will just wipe the whole thing. Both of them have an EAL 5 plus rating. So to reach that, products and systems must be shown to have the highest possible level of security against penetration testing. Neither one you want to be opened up, so both are hard to get open. It's just that that Pro has that self-destruct mechanism in it. They both use a secure element for the random number generator for generating your private keys when you get the wallet, and, and it's open source, so anyone can go and check the software. Both versions offer the Shamir backup, which means you can split your seed phrase, your private key, into up to 16 different segments or whatever that you can store in different places. So in this example, in this video, you can split it into five and then you get to decide how many of those it takes to go and restore your wallet. So for example, what just happened there, if there's a fire or if one gets stolen, if as long as you have three out of the five, you can restore a backup. If you happen to not trust the random generator that is inside of the device, they also have this dice roll way to create your private key. So you're not rolling dice in fiction land. They have this setting here. You would get an actual dice, one through six, right, on the dice, and you would manually roll it, manually. 99 times is what they recommend to obtain a 256-bit entropy. You just roll it, you put it in here, roll it, put it in here, and then it will create a private key for you with your manual inputs. If you happen to not trust supply chains like I personally do not, then they do offer this web authentication. The device comes with a private and a public key, but not having to do with actually storing your crypto. This public and private key is just for web authentication. So you can go online, you can check to make sure that either the device wasn't swapped out and that that secure element inside is the correct one. And they have a way, it's technical, 
Uh, I read it, it makes sense, but I can't regurgitate that. They do have a blog post on how it works. Seems pretty cool. On the website, these are the wallets it claims to offer. MetaMask, Kepler for IBC, that you know, the whole Cosmos. Soulflare, which is for Solana. Polkadot, safe, right? And then you've got a lot of Bitcoin wallets also. It's got over 5,500 coins and tokens on over 200 blockchains on over 15 plus software wallets, which we just looked at. There is a website that you can go to to check what wallets it does support. So you can check to see if it supports your favorite wallet. And also you can click on assets to make sure it actually does have maybe your favorite coins. It's definitely a good idea to secure your seed phrase. You can do that any number of different ways. They sent the Tablet Plus along with this Keystone hardware wallet. So we are gonna look at the tablet and, uh, and kind of see how awesome it, it might be. It's fireproof, obviously, waterproof and corrosion resistant. The heat, you know, I can't really tell. House fires get up to 649 degrees Celsius, it says right there. And it says this is indestructible up to more than double that. So we're good on the fire. The letters are etched in steel that you put in there to set up your seed phrase. It is again, non-deformable 304 stainless steel. And it also has a lock hole. So you can put a lock, a physical lock on it as well. So in summary, the pros, all the features. I, I honestly really like all the features. I like that touch screen a lot. The fingerprint thing is probably my favorite so that you're not, you don't necessarily have to worry about where you are punching in your pin or anything like that. I do, I trust the security from supply chain all the way to the private key generation. And in my opinion, it is well-priced. And if I do had to give it a con, the only thing I would say is it does not support native Rune, at least right now. And that's my top project, so. What do you think of the Keystone hardware wallet? Is this something that you would trust with your crypto? And if you're interested in getting access to my entire portfolio, I'll put a link to my Patreon down in the description. You get buy and sell alerts whenever I buy anything. My entire portfolio, you see everything there my watch list, early access to videos that go onto YouTube a couple days later, and also priority tech support. So if you have any issues with anything, you can always chat in the uh, private Discord channels. If you're still here, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.